the widespread use of COVID antibody testing by consumers without the guidance of medical experts or medical professionals is not a good idea in my opinion. And, and I'm going to ex outline the reasons why I think in my opinion that's not a good idea. Um, so antibodies, the presence of antibodies um, indicates prior exposure, in this case, indicated prior exposure to the illness. But those, we don't know at this point in time whether these antibodies confer immunity. Now, the problem, however, is that for, and for antibodies to confer immunity, they must be neutralizing antibodies. These antibodies must be neutralizing. We don't know the proportion of individuals who get exposed to SARS-CoV-2 who will develop neutralizing antibodies. The danger is that when people get tested and they find out they have antibodies, they may think, well, these antibodies mean that I'm immune to SARS-CoV-2, to COVID-19. And then as a result of that information, they may be more risk inclined. They may take more, they may adopt more risky behaviors and maybe actually expose themselves to COVID. Now that in it itself can be harmful because there is a phenomenon we call antibody dependent enhancement. And we've seen this in other infectious diseases and with antibody dependent enhancement, what happens is that when antibodies are not neutralizing, the virus can bind to these antibodies and use this antibody as a Trojan horse to enter tissues and cells and cause a lot of harm. So you actually would do, or people will get sicker um, with subsequent exposures when the antibodies are not neutralizing um, than if they are neutralizing. So, until we find out a lot more about this illness, it's important for us to understand um, that, you know, when we have, when we, when we are exposing ourselves to SARS-CoV-2, we could really, really do damage to ourselves and not necessarily because you've had, you know, antibody tests that until we know about these antibodies, we can't necessarily assume that you're going to be protected from SARS-CoV-2. So, I think it's important um, that we learn more about the antibodies, learn more about what they mean, learn more about how we could use them in, in protecting ourselves um, before um, the public um, uses them just without that kind of knowledge. And I think that could be dangerous if we, do, if we don't do it appropriately. So neutralizing antibodies are antibodies that actually kill the virus. So they neutralize the virus, they kill the virus. You may have antibodies that may interact with the virus, but may not kill the virus. The virus will still be, you know, um, be thriving even or be alive when the antibodies never, when they don't neutralize it. Or well, they may be partially neutralizing, where they may kill some of the virus, but not kill all the virus. And so those are important distinctions that we have to figure out when we're doing, uh, when we're studying COVID-19, that, you know, what percentage of people make neutralizing antibodies or what um, antibodies to which component of the virus end up neutralizing the virus. Because you can have antibodies to different components of the virus, but then they don't necessarily neutralize the virus. And those are important distinctions that we need to figure out before we can start understanding how best to use these antibody tests.